Hi, welcome back. Today I'm launching a new series uh, and I will call it uh, How To. So that means I will be showing you how to do simple stuff like how to send an email from a Canvas app or how to send an email from Power Automate using uh, Power Apps, uh, how to implement uh, something in Power BI and so on and so forth. You will see. Uh, today we're going to start with um, two versions of how to send an email. One will be, well, we will be both sent from a Canvas app but one will be sent using the Outlook function in Power Apps, and the second one will be sent using a trigger in Power Apps, sending data to Power Automate, triggering that flow that will send an email. Stay tuned, give it a thumbs up if you like the video, and uh, make sure to subscribe. So, as I said, we will start today with uh, presenting those two scenarios. And firstly, we will jump to Power Automate, and create the second version, which was when you want to send an email from your Power App, but using a Power Automate flow trigger. That will be, of course, triggered in Power Apps. So for that, we need to select new flow, select an insert cloud flow, and give it a name like, I don't know, email sender, which is um, very innovative, but uh, to do the trick, as you can see here, it says Power Apps, select that, create. And now the trigger will come from Power Apps and also the information that we uh, need or flow needs. So select new step and search for send an email. Here it is, an email v2. And to whom we need a dynamic content and that will be asking Power Apps. So the user will give that input in Power Apps. Subject as well, so here it's missing. But if you select see more, it says ask in Power Apps. Select that and for the body as well. Select see more and then ask in Power Apps. Now we have three inputs that will come from Power Apps. That will be sufficient for the flow to send an email. So we are done here. Select save and give it a second. And if it's green, then it's all good to go. Remember the name, email sender, and we then jump to Power Apps. So here select new Power App and I will go with a tablet layout. So here we are now in our uh, canvas. And uh, what we are going to do is I want to change this layout. I think around this light blue and uh, this looks nice. So we will need now a couple of labels and input uh, boxes. So first for label, I will pick one to top. Like a header, bold, make it bigger, and I want it to say email or send. I don't know, something like that. It is not very important. And I want to be, to be in white because I want to make the background one of my favorite colors, which is dark blue. And I want this to be a little bit more yeah, like a header. So we have our canvas and now we will need three input boxes. Oh, sorry. These are labels, of course. So this one will say in the text section, email, colon, why not? This will say subject and this will say body. one column. Okay, but I don't like how they are floating there, so I will make the the font be white and the background be that dark blue. The ones and for this one as well. You can go with another design. I don't know. I'm I'm doing this this way. So, I want to rename this. So, this one is our Subject, this one is email. Make sure you always rename your uh, labels, otherwise it's very difficult to find them when you're using them in the formulas. This is body and this is header. We're not going to use it, but anyways. So now we want the inputs. For that, select the input section and here in the dropdown, text input. We are going to need one for the email address 
one for the subject and one for the email body, which will be a little bit larger. And this here, where it says mode, we want it to be multi-line. We forgot something very important, which is the button. So we need this button. So this button will send the email out. And before we change the on select property, I want it um, not to say button, I want it to say send. So the first option was that we send an email with using the Power um, Apps email send email function, right? And the second option will be using the Power Automate flow that we just created. So the send um, function will use the, an action called on select equals Outlook uh, Office 365 Outlook, something like that. But for that, we need to make sure that we are connected to that uh, connector. You click the data section on the left-hand side, and then at add data, at the bottom you have connectors. It's flickering, I don't know why. So then on the search section, search for Outlook. And here, this one, Office 365 Outlook is the connector we are searching for. Select the login credentials you need to use. And now it is had it has been added into our data connectors section. Make sure that you are still um, selecting uh, the send uh, button. And on the on select property for the button, write office 365 outlook dot send email v2. Now this will trigger this action. And here it needs the items or the, the data that it will be sent via the email. So it needs the two. So to whom? The subject and the body. So the two is the email. We need to select the email input, email input, but which one? That, we need the text, select text. That's the first one. Next, the subject. So write subject, input, not the label, that text. Okay, second one also done. Third, body, body, input, that one dot text as well, close the parenthesis, and that's done. So now the button will send this email using this function and our connector to Office 365, which means if you've connected with your account, you are going to send that email. So if we test it now in a second, uh, you will see that you will send or I will send an email to myself. And um, before we test it, I want to make the second option as well and then uh, test it in parallel. So let's make sure that this button goes to the left hand side and we can rename it to say send via our apps. And let's create another button. And this button we will call send via flow. Okay, but this doesn't do anything yet. So for that, make sure that you select this button. So the flow button in the on select property, we need to delete this false. And we need to go to the action um, ribbon at the top, and here it says Power Automate. We select that to load our flows, and here's the email sender that we created. Select that one, we'll add it now into our canvas. It will link it with this button, and as you can see here, it is waiting for the send an email to, send an email subject, and send an email body, which is the same like this button, but this is requiring it in a different way because it is saying need to flow. So make sure that you um, yeah, put these inputs. So we will put the um, text from our uh, email input, email input.text, which will be then the person who it will go to. The send an email um, to each subject. And then we need, so we need subject input.text. And last but not least, body input.text and our button is finished by closing the parenthesis. Now we have two buttons that are functional. One thing I want to do before we test the send an email uh, buttons now is I want when I select this button that these input fields are cleaned up so that I can reuse them. I don't have to delete everything. So to do that, I haven't found a solution yet to do it for everything uh, with one button. So I will um, make a reset for each of these inputs. Let me know in the comments if you have found a better solution. I will do a reset uh, input, which is body. 
and then I will do a reset, which is um, email. And then I will do a reset for the subject. So this should delete now everything. Make sure you copy it and also we can put it next to this button so that it is done after clicking this button as well. Okay, so now we can select play and we can test it. Let's put my email address here, which is Ilias at I at on Microsoft. Um, that subject is um, email from our apps. And in our email body, I want to say hello, this email was sent from Power Apps. Okay, select send via Power Apps. And as you can see, it is cleaning everything up. And I can see in my email, it came in a split of a second. So this, there it is. Now let's go back to our Power App. This is everything cleaned up, nice and clean. And we can put my email address again, which I copied. And uh, the next subject will be uh, email from uh, Flow or using Flow. And email body will say hello. This email was sent from our apps using Flow. And select this button. It was a second slower. So there it is. It's hello, this email was sent from Power Apps using Flow. And if we jump to Power Automate and go back, we can see, okay, you can see here 13 seconds ago, the flow was triggered. And we have in the body this section, subject, and my email address. So there you have it. Uh, I hope you liked it. Um, these videos will be very short, so I don't want to stretch it out uh, even more. Let me know in the comments what you think. And uh, make sure that you like the uh, video if you did so and that you subscribe to the channel. Catch you on the next one.